You wonder what? That we didn't jump the gun and decide we didn't have a future. Don't do this. Do what? Talk like this. We decided we didn't have a future because you're still hung up on Danny and please don't deny it because it's so obvious. No, I didn't. She came in here before and told me you two were fighting. So what, you, you, you figure it's just too hard? That you may as well settle for good old Gypsy? Well, thanks, but no thanks. Maintenance man. Gotcha. Let go. Hey, Will. Yeah, mate. You seen a young kid run past here about 10 or 11? No, I wasn't really looking. What happened to your head? I caught him crawling out of one of the caravans. He hit me over the head with a milk crate. Looks pretty nasty. You should come back to my house, man. I'll fix it no, up. Don't worry about it. I just want to find that kid. Uh, look, forget about the kid. He's probably long gone by now. Now, Kyle, let's have a look at your melon, you big psycho. No, we're having a dinner party tonight. I thought you might want to come. No, I know it's late notice. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, maybe next time. All right, bye. Shona is out shopping. Ah, oh, right. I just thought I'd pop in and see if there's anything I could do to help. Oh. Who are you inviting to dinner? Andrew. Andrew from TAFE? Yep. Handy Andy the octopus. Is that what they call him? Yeah, the guy's a total lech. Mm. My kind of guy. I know we discussed the other day it was time for you to move on. But don't you think you're diving in the deep end? It's all right. I've been having sewing lessons. Well, I just can't understand why you're getting so head up about it. I mean, normally we've got to put a bomb under here to get you to do any sort of work at all. Well, it's not knowing one way or the other. How's a fella supposed to function with all that hanging over his head? I don't believe you, Vinny. I mean, you're the sort of bloke who's just drifted through life. You've never let a little thing like job security get to you before. And don't give me any of that malarkey about being a responsible married man, either. You know, I believe that a man's supposed to be the breadwinner of the house, do we? I've stuffed around for most of my life, and now I've stopped. Believe me. Yeah, well, it's a good thing, too, buying into the diner like that. That's well, down to Leo, not me. Come on, Vinny. Your name's on the papers. I mean, marriage is a partnership, mate. Now, it mightn't always be 50-50, but sometimes she might lean on you a bit, and sometimes it might be the other way around. That's the other thing. I don't want Leah to work all her life. We want a family, Stu. And you're a bit worried about whether or not you can support her, mate. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. There's always work around out there if you want to look for it. I don't want to just struggle through. I want Leah to have the dream house. And I want my little tackers to enjoy the finer things in life. You're kidding, aren't you? Mate, little tackers or not, all your flaming needs a roof over your head, food on the table and a bit of quality time. That's what it's all about. I'll tell you what, you've only got to think back a couple of years to when you were the biggest spoiled brat in high school. And why? I'll tell you why. Because your old man gave you absolutely everything. Except what you really needed. A bit of guidance and a bit of moral support and a good kick up the backside when you needed it. Oh, wasn't that? <laughs> Occasionally. Yeah, more than occasionally. But I'll tell you what, mate, you can lose sight of the real game when you're chasing the almighty dollar. I know about that. I've been there myself. I'll tell you, if I could swap it all around now and get Arts back, I'd do it tomorrow. Because that's what it's all about, man. All together. Away. Sponsored by Weedabix Minis. Never a dull moment. Come through this way, mate. Tom, what happened? That's all right. Just don't make a big deal out of it, all right? You got beaten up by a ten-year-old. Oh, thanks, Will. You do wonders for my reputation. <laughs> Here, I'll fix it for you. That's cool. I can do it. I know you think I can't even tie my own shoelace, Will, but I can do this. Sorry. So you said a ten-year-old did this. What did this kid look like? How do you know it's the same kid that clobbered Tom? Oh, it has to be. Same age, same coloured hair. Well, what makes you think he's going to come back here? Oh, we've got to start somewhere. I wonder what his kid's story is. 
I don't know, but he's never gonna get any help if he keeps running away like this. Hey, that wasn't there before, was it? No. All right. Look, whoever you are, this is dumb. You don't have to hide. There's a drop-in centre in town. In Palmer Street, near the roundabout? But they'll give you something to eat and a place to stay. No questions asked. Think about it, OK? Think you got the message? I hope so. <laughs> Anything more I can do? No, it's just about done, actually. All righty, I'm going to go get changed, then. Don't be long. I won't. I don't really need to get touted up for my brother. Gyps was on the phone before inviting one of the lecturers from Tate. Oh, right, and he couldn't come? It's probably best for her. The guy is a straight-out sleaze. Really? Does she know that? Yeah, it's common knowledge. Oh, you know, poor old Gyp, she probably feels a bit left out, you know, us being paired up and her having a brother come over. Or she could be overcompensating for you-know-who. Ah, uh, don't say that name. Mm, don't worry, I won't. So, is this the last of it? Yeah, yep. Gee, how are we going to pass the time until the guests arrive, huh? I wonder. <laughs> Down. Actually, no, um, Gypsy may not be tarting herself up, but I am certainly going to. <sighs> and leave the food alone. Which one should I wear? This one or this one? It's up to you, babe. Which one do you like? Both. I like them both. Which one do you like more? Um, the blue. Oh, what's wrong with the pink one? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with the pink one. You don't want to go tonight, do you? What? You're not in the mood, I can tell. I should have told Sean I would go. No, look, it's fine. It'll be good for us to go out and see people and good for you not to cook, I guess. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. They'd be stupid to let you go, you okay? Know, it's not the job. Then what is it? Yeah, it's nothing, sweetheart, really. I'm firing on all cylinders, mate. Right? <laughs> now, he's gonna have a shower first, you or me? We could go together. Mm, we could, but then uh, we'd never get there. So? Now, go on, get, you go first. Mm. Hey, by the way, I like the pink. 